everyone. Welcome back to our Duty Eternal playthrough. Uh, our last episode, we gained some more servitors. So let me go ahead and finally increase our ship's health. And then I still have gun batteries to improve, and I'd like to upgrade the Dreadnought's experience gain because I'm not getting a lot of kills with him. Our other option is increase our research speed, but other than that, we've pretty much upgraded everything. I will try to upgrade this Exterminatus ability as well. I have never used it in my previous playthrough, and I would like to just attempt one use at least just to see how that goes. Okay. Um, we sent our squad over here, I believe, our second ship. So we were going to attempt this Technophage mission. Let's check the hangar. That would take six servitors, 25 days. Negative five max HP, negative one armor. Well, I don't want to do that right now because we're about to go to a Technophage mission. So I would like to be able to have access to my dreadnought. So I'll just head over here. Transmission received. Highest absolution was not far off course as it navigated our warp storm. Arrival at destination is no longer achievable within required time parameters. Frigate is currently returning to the Edict. Oh. Deployment terminated. Well, that's sad. Am I able to send it out again? How long is it going to take to get back to me? 29 days. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. It tried to go through the warp storm. Okay, so my ship is immune to warp storm, but the frigate was not. And traveling through it made it not able to get to its destination. Good to know. Alert! Warp storms barrage the edict's surface. Yep. But our Geller field is good, so we have no problem there. Plus one requisition. Finish the mission before you take 35 damage. I will attempt to do that one. Eliminate all the seed carriers. Alright, got our dreadnought. Let's attempt to go for our stun squad this time. If we can. So, we need... Where is he? We need our Justicar, Octo. Before I do this, I want to check and see if I'm still getting negative on my upgrades. Doesn't look like it, so I can probably upgrade the rest of my armor without any negative use there. So let's check Octo's armor real quick. <clears throat> He's just using the standard armor. Yeah, let's fix that. He needs grenades with his stun mine. Extra ammo. Extra ammo, extra area. I think there was one of them that gave them extra damage. I could be wrong. Extra area. Willpower, willpower. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
This one's slightly better when fully upgraded. Gives you two extra ammo, four armor, two extra area on your grenades. So let's equip. Upgrade. I am low on purple seeds still. Okay, you've got your grenades, you have your extra willpower. Could get a better bolter, you don't often use it, so I don't really care much about your bolter. Alright, we have Paladin, Mark. He's good to go on his stun abilities. Let's check his armor. What are you wearing? Just extra armor with resistance. Do I have anything better than that for you? Not really, so we'll just go ahead, upgrade, three extra armor. What about your hammer? Melee weapon. Damon hammer. Uh, I don't really want the enemy to be pushed, to be pushed back most of the time. Occasionally it's useful. And your shield. What's it looking like? Ranged weapon, storm shield. It's already been upgraded. Okay, so you're good to go. My dreadnought. Load out. I have some more options here but I'm out of Archaeotech. Plasma Cannon. Multimilta. Heavy Psy Cannon. Which one is a Plasma Cannon? Is it this one? Tier 2. I can still somehow probably get up to Tier 3 with these weapons as well. Yeah, I'm guessing that this one is the Plasma Cannon, but I don't have the Archaeotech to upgrade. So we'll just leave him as is, for now. We need our other Librarian. Where is he? This guy. <laughs> You are fully equipped, I think, but let's just check your armor. Actually, you know, we'll just check all your weapons because I may not have upgraded. This one's upgraded. Then I can check your armor. What are you wearing? This one? Extra armor, extra willpower, immune to drained. Yeah, let's upgrade these abilities here. Extra willpower, extra armor, always good to have. <clears throat> and who else is on our stun squad? We need our apothecary, I believe. Clyde. Mm. And his loadout. We gained a new melee weapon that helps with biomancies. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. I have a healing skull. I also can heal if needed. Other options. I have a enraged Haler skull, but I think I'm just going to go with the Medicaid skull. Okay, I didn't check your armor, sorry. Load out. Armor types. You're wearing Terminator armor, <coughs> basic armor. Let's see. 
Extra armor and resistance. Extra armor, grenades. Hmm. You know, I could give him grenades and give him the stun grenade as well, possibly. Let's see if that works. If I don't give you a skull, can I give you this? I can. You have an extra stun. That does mean I'm low on the ability to heal, but that should be okay. So let's go to my armor types. Finish upgrading this. Extra area, extra armor. Again, I'm low on the purple seeds. Not exceptionally high on blue or yellow either, but that's okay. All right, I think we have our full stun squad set and ready to go. We want to try to level up Krask a little bit. That is hard to do with the stun build. But maybe he can get a kill or two. A few of our stratagems are offline. We've got heal, all knights gain, three armor. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What else do I have if needed? Critical, immobilize, need infinity. All fallen knights are revived. No, I think I'll just leave it as it is for now. Start the mission. Let's see if I can get through this mission quickly enough to not have to split it into two episodes. Technophage missions tend to take a little longer. Status. Ultramarines currently engaged with a force of word bearers below. Have they detected us? Negative. Do you take me for some half-augmented engine seer? The Inquisitor meant no insult, Dominus. We will locate and destroy the seeds and leave the rest none the wiser. Four. Four seed carriers, it looks like. I also keep forgetting to send an extractor skull, and I don't have a lot of critical. My blade is ever. Mark can get some critical sometimes. I've got one right up in the middle, so. I continue to serve. Nothing will stop me. Vengeance comes for them. We've got the Archaeotech right over here. Maybe we'll go down to the right first and just get that out of the way. I am here to serve. Taking position. My blade You're up to 23 used. willpower. Very nice. As ordered. At your service. Moving out. What is your will? On my way? This might activate both groups. If it does, I guess we'll deal with it. Slaves of the Phoenix Empire! Oh, two Hellbrutes. No, one Hellbrute and... The flesh mother. A demonstration is in order. I have not activated this group yet, but I'm sure I will if I step forward. So this guy can be stunned and executed. This guy cannot. We can teleport over here, get a stun and execution. And then have to walk over this way. 
not in range for my plasma cannon unless I move forward. Unleash me. I'm not Vortex of Doom, I want Gate of Infinity. Yeah, that is going to activate this group as well. With that being the case, do I head over here first? I don't know what the enemy is. Another chance to serve. I really can't get over here without activating that group. So, why don't we take a step forward? See what we have going on over there. Four units. Alright, two AP. Plasma cannon. Overcharge. I could hit all of these. It won't give me the kill. do missile launcher first. I'd really like to get some kills. Three damage plus seven or so. Alright. What are we going to do? We're going to Gate of Infinity, right over here. We travel unseen paths. Vortex of Doom. Feel the wrath of the Golden. What is your command? That'll get me one kill. But it'll knock all of them out of the way. So let's do my missile launch strike first. Doesn't quite get the kills. That's the difficult part. He can do a lot of damage, but getting the actual kills is a little more difficult. So I need to do a little bit of damage to these three, but I also need to stun him. So. Iron Arm Biomancy. On mark. Would be great. I need to get over here. Moving now. Look at that. Iron Arm Biomancy. The right there. The Emperor flows through you. I'm here to serve. Force strike. <clears throat> hmm, but then he'll grab me. It would be much more simple if I were just stunning them all, but I'm attempting to do a little bit of damage first. One shot here. Do I need a Psychic Shriek? 
for the extra stun. Yeah. Now you have enough AP. Take a shot there. You can take a shot there. Brings you down to nine, that might not be enough. But then, I need you to move forward and attack this guy. I'm with you. And then you'll be grabbed. And you grab the seeds for me. Seed extracted. Oh yeah, I don't need the extractor skull because he can just melee. I need to keep remembering that. Alright, now, Mark. You can get a stun strike over here. Plus three stun. Sure. What is your will? Praise the Emperor. One more strike. And I would like you to get the execute. Vengeance! For the Golden Throne! Alright, he'll explode, so I want to be out of the area. I need to do a little bit more damage to you, I think. I continue to serve. Plasma cannon. Overcharge. Yeah, slightly more damage is needed, needed over here. Yeah. That'll work. I serve in death. All right. There's the experience we'll need. Level up, hopefully. Ammunition required. Four enemies down. We need to get out of this explosion radius and yes, kill this unit here. The Emperor lights up on. We all have Terminator armor, so we can't right. climb up there easily. Here. Your orders? You can get one attack. There is no stunning on this guy, though. I am with you. Plus four extra damage. Let's do that. <clears throat> That'll probably make you spin away to another location. Knocked over my Justicar, Octo, but that's okay. You've got 5 AP. Don't even need all of it, but that's alright. Plus 4 damage, and that should take you down. Okay. Yes, Commander. With your biomancy lasting an extra turn. I could go place that on you. Mm. Where are my other seed carriers? Is there anyone even close? There's two right over there. Not really. No point to waste the turns. Do command. Taking position. Need to avoid that flame and grab the archaeotech. It will be done. Can get over here. It looks like you're walking right through the fire. Will you be hurt? No? Looks like you can avoid it. 
There must be a space on the side there. Okay, it is taking a bit of time, but we have been able to take out two groups, and we're about to grab the Archaeotech. That seed carrier is walking down towards me, which is fine. My will is yours. What is your will? Let's grab the Archaeotech real quick. The ground shakes. If I move all the way over there, I will probably activate you. Standing ready. So I want my librarian to be a bit closer first. With haste. And let's walk over here. As you say. Yeah, there they are. They have spread out fairly well. Again, I can just launch two sets of missiles. My plasma cannons back online. I am here to serve. Gate of Infinity in the back here, if we can. I guess I can't see except right there, so. My strength returns. Grab a few stuns and executions. Hopefully we can take out the whole group. What is your will? You can do Iron Arm Biomancy on this one. Crush them with might beyond reason. Oh, look at that area on the stun grenade. That has improved quite a lot. I also need to hit you once. But we'll toss one stun grenade over here. Four stun on all of them. Then we need to get rid of this guy so that I can get over here without being attacked. Face me. The foe bleeds. Stun. Execute. Your orders? You can get a melee strike here, steal the seeds, and stun him. Moving out. <laughs> Boom seed excised. Glasses. He needs some extra willpower. Vengeance! Ah! Glory to Zyphos! Okay. Another chance to Is it possible? Save. You may be able to get like the last hit on this guy since he can't be stunned. Standing ready. Force strike. Power. Vengeance. Execute. So to the unworthy. Got two more units over here. here to serve. Oh, this is the Apothecary. He doesn't have a way to increase his stun. So... Service. 
force strike. That'll have to get hit you twice. That's fine. I may not need to force strike though. Might as well save the willpower because I'm going to have to hit you twice either way. I strike two. Go ahead and execute you. You're down. Step around here. Force strike. <clears throat> Alright. Let's give you one willpower by getting an execution. That will allow you to do the iron arm biomancy one more time if necessary. What's next? What's this over here? Oh, nice, a bloom seed. My blade is yours. Cower. Don't want to destabilize you because I want you to stay where you're at. here, grab this, you'll get extra willpower as well. Let's just attack you first. One more attack. And then you can still reach this. Step Nothing forward. Stop me. Plasma cannon. Right there. Will not affect my other knights. But before I do that, let's actually take a step. I want to be closer to the other units. And you can just walk right through this wall, yeah? So, one step forward. And then a Plasma Blast right here. If I blow these things up, will they hurt my own units? Could. So I'm going to put the Blast over here. Get some more experience on our Dreadnought. A sudden Perfect. Got an achievement down there. As you say. Got a seed group. Fourteen willpower left. I am listening. The grandfather heeds my prayers. It is an enemy most worthy. Clustered so close together, I'd like to get a plasma blast. But he just doesn't have enough damage to get the kills. Can move forward here. That'll leave me able to do a missile launch and a plasma blast. So, we'll try to get him to as many kills as possible. Standing ready. Need to gate of infinity. Hmm. That's gonna explode. I continue to serve. Yeah, that will explode. What is your will? So I'll have to be careful to get my knights away before I let my dreadnought attack. Warp charge. Bring all my knights over here. <clears throat> Alright, if I stun and execute one of them, that may give me enough AP 
to do the damage to the others. Yes, Commander. I need to hit this guy. We grab the seed. These guys are all. Oh, nice! The biomancy worked on yourself this time. So if I hit you twice, you're gonna be stunned. I still believe me enough to get over there. It'll also do some damage. Alright, you are stunned. Eight health. Still a little too much, I think. This guy has so much health that I think the execution on him may be the way to go. What is your will? Moving out. Execute. Glory to Cyphos. Uh, well, is that extra stun? One more attack. You're stunned as well. Alright, what do I need here? I need my apothecary to get a strike on you. Steal those seeds. Taking position. Seed extracted. Okay, I think my Plasma Blast can do 7 damage, you have 8 health, you have 6 health. I can also do my Missile Squall afterwards, so if I can bring them all down to around 10 or so health, I might be able to get that to work out. Unleash me! Force Strike. You have to 11 and stunned. You only have one AP left. I am going to want you to be able to walk away. Four AP. You can't really stun. Well, you can with your psychic shriek, but it doesn't do damage. Um. Gotta do some damage to you guys. You have two AP. You can use one to go over there for a strike that stuns you. stun this guy so that I can avoid being hit when I walk past. I might not have to walk past. I can just attack, but then I can't walk away. This does no stun, it just does the damage. Okay, so this guy probably won't be stunned. Got you down to 12. Got you down to 7. Two AP left. Take you down to seven. Ignore the room. All right. Now, what I need to do is just run everyone I am with you. as far away from the blast area as possible. This guy has thirteen health left still, though. No orders. One AP. No one AP. What one AP. I am here to serve. Could I attack you and still be outside the blast radius? Possibly. Praise the Emperor. This guy needs to get away. Oh, he will get hit. What is your will? I am yours to 
Come on. What is the blast radius? Overcharge. When it's overcharged, it actually doesn't even kill my knights. But the explosion from this thing might. The Emperor lights our path. You have a lot of armor. So you'll just take the hit here. I don't want to execute you. Armor break is fine. Plasma cannon. Overcharge. One, two, three, four, five skulls. That'll work. This explosion, I do see it this time. It'll blow up this whole thing and it'll probably damage my units a little bit. But I want the experience, so. Alright. There is a warp surge risk. There is one more seed carrier. Clear down over here. Okay. <clears throat> We've got our dreadnought. I don't want to take any damage if I walk through this. That's the issue. As you say. Alright, you have nine willpower. You do have enough for one more um, Gate of Infinity. I also have High Sanctuary, might as well activate that, give everyone armor. Who do I have selected? Standing yeah, ready. come on over here. Advancing. I'm not sure what the warp surge is going to have happen. Um, why are you not being able to move? That seems strange. Is that a glitch? That is a glitch. I think it still thinks he's up on top of some blocks that got damaged and he has terminator armor so he can't get down but hopefully when I teleport it'll take him with me got the warp surge they gain plus one reinforcements I would like you to have, well, maybe, I was going to say 10 willpower to be able to teleport twice. Oh, that was not the right location. I wasted an AP, but... Oh well. It will be done. I was going to say I wanted to be able to teleport twice so that I can kill this group and then teleport away from the reinforcements. But I may just want to stay and kill them with my dreadnought. With me, so, my we'll see. Affirmative. Advancing. And again, you are glitched out and cannot move. <laughs> Another chance to serve. I don't want you to break that. Is there a way to step around it? Let's move him first. Yes. My will is yours. There we go. Unstoppable. 
Unleash me! With haste! I am listening. Death comes for them. With me, my brothers! And there we are. The last set of enemies. Or the last seed carrier. They are going to open up portals, so there will be more enemies. Gate of Infinity, back here. My Hopefully we'll bring Mark with us. There he is. I gained a one extra willpower back, nice. So if I don't use it, I'll be good to go. Unleash me! Action service. Valdar. I wish I could see if the biomancy was still active. Brothers. My blade is ever ready. Alright, it is not. I am here to serve. Iron arm biomancy right here. I am with you. The walk resists my will. You're out of willpower. As soon as I go over here and hit this guy, the portals will open. That's okay, I think. The threat of the bloom has been contained, but I sense more of Nurgle's minions on the way. We should recover your brothers and my seeds. Are they going to have four portals? Yes, they are. There's going to be a, a lot of reinforcements. The seed. We're kind of hemmed in between these three. This one, hopefully, I can ignore. But I do need to move my Dreadnought out of the way. So we're going to try... well, no. Stun and execute. I have to end the turn before they'll come out, so stun and execute doesn't really matter. So I will attempt to get some kills on my Dreadnought again, if possible. Right there, he can hit one, two, three, four, five of the enemy. Okay, so that's probably the best he can do. I'll need to lower their health and maybe stun and execute this guy over here. Your orders? To get over there, I'll have to take some hits. I don't want to do it that way. Yeah. Apothecary does have some stun grenades. Might as well launch one. You have a stun grenade as well. As you command. So you can just run over here in execution. So to be unworthy. Okay. 18 health. Gotta bring you down to round 7, I believe it was. Face me. Could do an execute, that's not what I'm looking for. Armor break, that'll add some damage. Vengeance. One more attack. All right, you're in the range. No, no, no! I don't want him. Standing I want ready. you. Force strike. Ready. 
armor pierce. That'll put you in range to be killed. Just need these two as well. One. Vengeance! Two. One more attack. Disable your blades. Hit on you. Armor break. Eight HP. I think I need it to be seven. Bring you down. Get down. Okay, so now what do we do here? I'm gonna kill them all with this guy. I've got two portals over here. Yes, Commander. If I try to move you away, you'll be wounded. You can take a step in which direction. Maybe you'll come down and help deal with this portal. I do have one more teleport ability. Oh no, if you move away, you'll get hurt as well. My blade is yours. Do I deal with this group over here? Sure. Alright. Plasma cannon. Right around here. Overcharge. Nope, not quite there. Alright. Here, overcharge. There we go. I must reload. They are all dead, and now I can go for locations where I want to be. You can get closer to this one. Position. Is that it? You're over here to help with this group. You three over here. You could move. But I think it's good for you to be close. So, nothing really to be done. End the turn. Right, that's a total of nine enemies that we can attempt to kill. Let's do what stun and execution action over here we can manage. You no longer have Biomancy. You don't have the willpower to add it. Okay. <clears throat> Four strike does bring it up a bit. Ten. Seven. Your grenades will do slightly more than that. Can't quite hit all three of you with the grenade, but I can hit you two. the four strike, I won't be able to get the execute.
This will stun you. And then I can execute you. Okay, we'll do it that way. I strike two. At once. And execute. All right, this brings you back up to three AP. Got another mine here. I can hit both of you. So let's do it. Four strike. Enemy is wounded. Execute. Ah, you have been judged. Get back up to four. You can parry. Yes. Hopefully you don't parry, but if you do, I'll try it one more time. Perfect. Okay. Back up to three. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit you twice. Wouldn't be quite enough. You've got six. Got one more stun mine. Standing ready. Could hit you once. Wouldn't be able to execute. My blade is yours. You're still hanging around. <sighs> You're also here. Oh, I have no ammo for my plasma cannon. Plasma cannon reload is needed. Ready to unleash devastation. Doesn't quite kill. You can do a missile launch. Can I bring you down enough? I don't want to use my willpower. One. Oh, I have a lot of AP. Yeah. Blessed power arms. Feel my wrath. One more strike. Then you can use your plasma cannon. My weapon is empty. Okay, when I want to, I could go ahead and teleport over here and maybe finish off these two. So let's work on these guys over here first. I am here to serve. You still have six. But moving down here would take three of it. Yeah. So if possible, I prefer to get the stun and executions this way. Yes, Got one more stun mine. Taking position. The execution. Justice. I am here to serve. Force strike. Force strike again. 
The wounded. One more time. The You're out of AP. But you can get Advancing. the stun. The enemy is wounded. And then the execute. For the golden throne. Okay. Yeah. Now we can use Gate of Infinity. Get as close over here as we can. Your orders? You've got 8 AP. Neo! Plus one stun. Execute. Enemy down. Moving swiftly. Lessen our arms. Stun and execute again. The flight is ended. Yeah, I think I found a squad that is quite effective. There's nothing else to do now. Might as well heal the slight damage on this guy. And the turn. We will have a warp surge. Negative one max HP. Okay. And the turn. All active Astartes recovered. Beginning teleportation. And there we go. Um, we did get up to the hour mark, but I think I'll still put this in one episode. Got some requisition. What are our options here? Another interceptor. Tier 3 shield for the paladin. What does it do? Plus one armor. So that's two armor, one extra willpower, 15 resist. Is that any better than the shield I currently have? I'm not really 100% sure. What's this one? Purge, they lose mutations. I think I like the two I have currently better. HP, focus, and willpower for power armor. If I put this on my, um, what's his name? My interceptor that does the melee damage. I would get the 40 focus and four willpower. I think getting the 6 willpower and the critical, and still having the focus, is still probably better than that. What's this? Resistance? Not necessary. Okay, I'll just grab this shield. Maybe it'll be good for a paladin. That's all I need. Looks like we got a couple levels on Krask. I've never used the Overwatch ability on him. Um, it looks like he can use Overwatch. Maybe that would be good in some circumstances, but I'm not sure. Nemesis Doom Fist. My rocket. Extra area. Plus two damage against demonic targets if warp charged. Okay. What else can I do? This ability, Ancient's Charge, gains plus two damage. Well, I have Ancient's Charge. I've used it occasionally. That could be useful. I really want Aegis Repair. When he kills an enemy, heal two. 
plus passive armor, plus passive resistance. This is a good passive area. The heavy psi cannon, the twin las cannon. Gain auto support fire when enemy is shot, two damage. But that's only if I'm using the twin las cannon, I think. Multi melta. This is for the Nemesis Doomfist. Um, all of these obviously seem good in their own ways, but if I'm using the rocket launcher and the plasma cannon, all these other upgrades seem not as good. So I'll want to get this, this, and these upgrades up here. So for now I'll go this way. Knights adjacent to the Dreadnought cannot be targeted by ranged attacks. Do I really want these, or would I rather have the armor and the heal to start with? Hmm. I'll just go with this for now, gain some more experience later. Alright, that'll end the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment. And have a good day.